We are often asked, what frequencies can be measured using VibeView? Contrary to what we're all used to with other vibration measurement sensors, the answer is, it depends. Let's take a look at what it actually depends on. The frame rate of the camera, stated in frames per second, or FPS, determines the frequency range of the measurement. Using a Nyquist ratio of two, simply divide this frame rate by two and you have your maximum frequency in Hertz. Every camera has a fixed number of pixels, but the camera system itself has limitations on how many pixels it can process in a given amount of time. If you want to see more pixels, the camera system demands a slower frame rate. However, if you want a faster frame rate, the camera system must process fewer pixels. Let's see how that works with our VibeView cameras. Our VibeView camera has 1,920 pixels in the horizontal direction and 1,200 pixels in the vertical direction. This resolution is referred to as 1920 by 1200, which is a little better resolution than full HD and equates to about 2.3 megapixels. If we wanted all 2.3 million pixels available for measurement and magnification, then the maximum frame rate of the camera could run to 156 frames per second, or a maximum frequency of 78 hertz. Note that VibeView cameras think in terms of horizontal lines. If we don't need some of the horizontal lines of resolution or height of the image, the camera will allow us to use a faster frame rate. If we don't need vertical lines of resolution or the width of the image, the camera doesn't provide a frame rate increase. We recommend leaving the full image width in place for easy correlation back to our detection thresholds based on the field of view. See our video on amplitude detection to understand how the field of view relates to detection thresholds. For example, if we decide we can reduce the horizontal lines of resolution from 1200 down to 1080, then the image would look like this, and the frame rate would increase to 173 FPS and provide an F max of 87 Hertz. Since we prefer to capture two times running speed in a typical analysis, and since most things we're interested in lend themselves to a rectangular field of view, our default resolution is 1920 by 600, with a maximum frequency of 156 Hz. And you can continue to decrease the resolution and increase the frame rate, and even move the window up and down to suit your needs. Our VibeView High Frequency Camera has 1,280 pixels in the horizontal direction, and 1,024 in the vertical direction. Using the same image as a reference, those 1.3 million pixels would cover this much area, but are capable of much faster speeds. And if we used all the pixels, the frame rate would be 1800 FPS with an F max of 900 Hertz. If we reduce the vertical resolution to our default resolution of 720, the F max increases to 1270 Hertz. Similar to the VibeView camera, as you continue to decrease the vertical height, the frame rate and maximum frequency increase all the way up to 33 kilohertz for an admittedly small slice of pixels. Check out some of our other videos, like why the detection threshold matters for both displacement measurement and magnification to learn more about VibeView. And if you would like help solving your rotating machinery problems or would like a VibeView system of your very own, don't hesitate to contact us on our website at mexsol.com.